the person in front of me is wrapped up in quite a bit of motions of fear or an energy of did I miss out on something? Okay, I see. You're wondering if you made a wrong decision, releasing something or not attending something. Because our collective takes what resonates. But you're wanting to know if there's still another chance or how this decision was the right choice. Because why would they have been guided to make the decision to begin with if it wasn't? Okay, so let's see what's going on with that. What do you feel like you could have missed out on? Something about... I could be having fun. I could have experienced this experience being with you. It's interesting energy. We got this. What is this person in front of me wondering about that they could have been there or did they make the right decision releasing something? I need to see this past, present, future. Okay. Oh, well, there's two here that snuck together. Right now what I see is you've been learning more about spirituality you've been balancing making decisions for yourself and there's a lot of things that you're like it's a missed opportunity simply because of the minor actions of others people's influences that seem so minor did so vast more about their own opinions more than more than just you many things in their life what I see right now is the separation was completely needed and you deciding to separate from whatever this is, no matter if it was today, a year ago, two years ago, three year, years ago, four years ago, more, it was the correct decision. You were completely guided to be with this person and you were completely guided to then separate at a certain time. What I see is you were very attracted to this person from the beginning because they brought a state of comfort but also focus to you <coughs> you felt in past relationships or in your family etc you had to keep <coughs> yourself closed up this person's eyes when you looked into them they're like they see me and they want to hear me and it's not just hear me truly know what i'm feeling See, you're a beautiful person from the inside out, but a lot of people maybe at first only recognize the outer. Or even there are some people who continue to only recognize the outer, but it's a reflection of themselves, not you. <coughs> if you wouldn't have separated from this person, there would have been a sense of neither of you learning discipline within your own self growth. When you first got together, you saw the highest versions of each other, okay? But something within both of you knew, even when the breakup happened, something about looking at each other was like, could this actually not be the last time? Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of times where you were like, I don't think I'm ever going to talk to this person again, etc. It's part of the process. But something within you knew there would be a turnaround once there was enough healing done. And this could have been a message that more came to you throughout time, throughout you learning lessons. Spirit's telling me right now, there is an offer coming your way. And this is something Spirit does want you to grow and nurture that had to get the weeds taken out, if you will. A certain level of self Not even just acceptance, but science had to happen between both of you. 
you had always been nurturing it to others and caring about others more than yourselves. And that led you both into some sticky situations in the past. That growth, the to-do list of things you must do for yourself before being a healthy partner for somebody else has been completed. So just as you were guided to be with this person for the amount of time you were in growth and then you felt the guide say it's time to leave, there's been a guidance of back. And it's not back in a sense of backwards. It's a sense of true return and evolvance. You were a long time afraid that if you responded to this person that it would be a cycle repeat. Collective takes what resonates, but for I'm hearing a good portion of you, this person has reached out to you at least one or two times before and you, you ignored it because you felt that it would be a cycle repeat. And maybe at that point it would have been. Maybe just maybe you were guided then to do it, but things evolve. Never make anything fit. Something Spirit wants me to state is there was never any form of deep, all, like deep, deep yelling or altercation in that sense between each other. Don't get me wrong. There were, there were definitely fights. It happens. More arguments, if you will. But it was never like you felt deeply put in a corner with this person. And it's like always they were vastly truthful and they were a very intense person with their emotions, but they never made you feel closed in. It was always a sense of an open door and I'm not gonna get in the way, but I want you to be here. And that's something you've always respected about them and it has not left, I hear their voice not leaving your mind with this knowance of I release you and if we're meant to be with each other again I unconditionally will know you'll come back or being together being each other's life somehow will circle back and then proceeding forward what spirit is guiding out of this reading the way forward will be working together and knowing The only way for the new beginning with this person truly. You cannot care about the roots is what I'm hearing of. So this could be to do with family members are uprooting from values, okay? The readings today are very in-depth and focused. What I'm hearing is the road forward is when nobody else has a background noise between you two. It's imperative that you spend a long time of getting to know each other without others really knowing. And it's not in a secret way. It's just knowing that like this is like forming a new dynamic and you don't want what other people think of this person to dictate your emotions some of the people in your life still only see the old version and the version you were with when you were with them and they out of protection don't want to see that happen to you again but you know what's best for you you know when something is not black and white and there's color 
and there's space in between. The step forward is to listen to your own inner compass. We receive advice from others and opinions, and it's vastly important to gain knowledge from a variety of different sources. But when you make decisions for yourself in that moment, the key thing is no other outwards opinions or information dictating your yes, no of forwardness of accepting or not accepting something into your life. The waters together are not going to be storms. There will be waves and you are in the same boat and you will work as a team to proceed forward. This dynamic is more than even redemption between you two. This is more than a second chance. This is not a second chance. This is still the first. This is how it all had to transpire. So Spirit wants you to know, you made the right decision when you let go. You have missed nothing. Every experience, year, day, moment that you two have not experienced since you last saw each other together was not meant to be experienced together. There's more. So, release the need to think you missed out on something because you have a vast amount of things to create together and learn together and share and just proceed forward from there. That's what I got for y'all today. Now, we're going to talk about two different things. First, my Twitch. Over on Twitch at Uncle Bronze Official. Every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I live stream video games. But during playing video games, I give away a free tarot reading every stream. So, to enter, all you have to do is join us on one of those days during a live stream. Follow me on Twitch and comment the keyword of the chat, which automatically enters you into the giveaway. Now, the second thing we're going to promote is the Bali trip. June 2025, I am hosting my second spiritual trip in Bali. This trip is a chill, very luxurious vibe, if you will, mixed in with holistic spiritual learnings, comfort, understandings, and experiences, if you will. There's going to be many forms of teaching involving herbal medicine, sound, water, and a vast amount more. I'm personally hosting a spiritual workshop that will go into diving into learning how to make learning how to make you further guide and understand into your own cards, spreads, and utilizing other divination tools to your benefit to further expand your readings and make stepping stones if you will in between the cards. Things involving runes, crystals, oracle cards, totems, and then spiritual protection barriers involving candles, incense, and a vast amount more. Every single person that joins this trip on the trip will receive a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with yours truly. That reading and my spiritual workshop completely included with the price. There's nothing extra added. The trip link is in my Instagram bio, YouTube videos, and all over my website. You can put down a 25% down deposit right now to claim your spot. And then all the way into 2025, you can pay the remainder off. I have a few spots still available. So if you're feeling called, and you have that tingle within you. To join this trip, I highly suggest you get on it now before all of the spots get claimed. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email at contact at offprintmint.com. And the link to my website is in all of my social media platforms. That's what I got for y'all today, and I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.